Things to a striking man-made structure now. Yeah, Marty's in Dundee at one of the UK's longest bridges, investigating its dramatic past. This is the Tay Rail Bridge. It's over two miles long and carries trains from Edinburgh in the south over the river to here in Dundee. But it's not the first Tay Bridge. The original collapsed in a terrible storm in 1879, plunging a train and all its passengers into the river and their deaths. It was Britain's worst rail disaster. It's now thought 59 died, and today the piers of the fallen bridge still rise above the water. Everybody wanted to know why it had happened, and it became the first disaster to be scientifically investigated. This needed a machine big and strong enough to test the giant iron girders that held up the bridge. Such a machine existed in Southwark in London, and it still works 150 years later, run today by volunteer engineers Lucy and Roz. Wow, this is a beautiful piece of kit, but more importantly than that, which is the machine? The machine starts over there, comes all the way to here, about 47 feet, so it's the whole of this is the machine. That's fantastic. So what made this machine unique? So it was the first universal machine. It could stretch, compress, bend, bulge and twist both iron and steel. Now, I have here a piece of genuine Victorian wrought iron, just like they would have used on the Tay Bridge. Can we test it to destruction? Can we break it? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes we can. <laughs> In its day, this machine could test girders so big they stuck out of the doors and stopped the traffic in the street. So it had to generate a huge force. It was built as a million pound machine. A million pounds worth of load could go on a sample, which is about 446 tonnes. It's powered by water, pumped into a huge cylinder attached to one end of my iron bar. So I think we're ready to go. <laughs> Roz keeps an eye on the water pressure. Now it's going. Okay. Lucy winds a heavy weight along the beam, balancing the pressure. When the bar breaks, we'll know the load this piece of iron can withstand. The universal testing machine was built by Scottish engineer David Kirkholdy. His obituary called him the best hated man in London. I think he really didn't trust other people's results. He knew he was right. He didn't really bend on that. The Tay Bridge had tall supports, and those supports were made up of six vertical cast iron columns, and where the pastor is, they had iron cross braces. And where the cross braces met the columns, the iron failed. And that meant that in the high winds blowing, the vertical supports snapped, and the whole thing tumbled into the Tay. After the disaster, some of the pieces were brought here for testing. Tension is literally mounting. Like the Tay Bridge iron, as mine extends, scale falls from the surface, a sign that the end is nigh. That was great. So what did that go at? So we can tell from the scale that the load was about 30,000 um, pounds at breaking point. So that's about 15 tonnes. Kirkholdy's tests found that the cross braces supporting the Tay Bridge were not strong enough. The inquiry found numerous design and manufacturing faults. Blame fell on the bridge designer, Sir Thomas Bouch, who was disgraced. Thanks to David Kirkholdy, these days the materials and designs for bridges are tested before they're built. Thank you, Marty. Uh, now, we accidentally touched on it earlier on, Peter, but in fact you are a vegan. I am indeed, yes, now, how, yeah. How, how complicated is life?